안녕하세요. 윤쌤입니다. Hi, I'm Yoon Sam from Ubito. So, I believe you all know how to read characters in here and there. Regardless which form they come along on your way, you know how to read Korean characters. Yes or yes? Say yes! Good, now, today I'm gonna talk about a final consonant and linking pronunciation together. <laughs> So uh, in order for you to pronounce it quick, there's some way that you can uh, maneuver your way. We call it linking pronunciation, but so many people call it rule linking, linking pronunciation, but I don't want to call it rule because you know what, the moment I tell you this is rule, then you will start to memorize. Oh, there's rule that I need to memorize it. No, it is not about something for you to memorize, except a few other things. Uh, it's just better of your tongue and human being and how the tongue reacts to a certain pronunciation, how the tongues actually react to something uh, maybe more difficult to pronounce it but make it simpler. Okay, I'll tell you what, it, what I'm talking about. Let's say I write eep. Again, I happen to write un and next to it. So as you can see, eep and un, eep un, eep un, eep un, eep un, eep un. If you constantly read this one in the fast manner, un, eep 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 un. So it happened to be even. So why is it happening? Why is it happening? And there are many other cases in this working this way. And they read this and they wrote this down in in a form of rules. But then it is not, again it's not a rule. It's just a, oh this is how tongue moves. That's why I I want to write it down so that ah oh, this is something that other people can understand how things are working. So there's some condition for 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 these things in happening like this. Easy way. There's a one character has a final consonant. All right, and the following characters is starting with the empty shell. Ah, there's an empty shell is always a problematic. I normally give this kind of uh, metaphor to my students. Going at the old, old ancient time, very ancient time back in Korea, maybe Goryeo Joseon dynasty. King has a few wives, and then this is son of the second wife, and he always looking for an opportunity to be king, overthrown that. Positions. And finally, the second character, and there's supposed to be a king over there, but king just went out, stepped out from the, you know, capital of it, and it went out to a, um, you know, war or something, fight against uh, external forces. So he stepped out, and this guy trying to find a way, but he got a real golden opportunity, so he will not miss it out. So he will take that opportunity, just right away, take this on. Like this. Even. 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 So it goes up and this one drop it out and taken out taken up by these guys. It become even. Even. So let's say another example that I give you. Pu ok and e. As you know, if we don't have this e sound, it's a pu ok. Pu ok. You know this one character, one sound, right? But then, hey. I'm supposed to be just a stay as a second son. Then he will stay as a friend as there. But then now I got an opportunity. Oh yeah, the king just stepped out from the capital. Now I'm going to take it up. So it becomes puaki, puaki. It goes up, puaki. This is very simple. In fact, as I mentioned. People are really trying to remember this as a rule. In fact, it's not a rule. It's just a matter of your mouth, your tongue, how the tongue reacts to it. Compared to you read this one, one, one by one, character by character, and you read this way, this way is much faster and more convenient, or more comfortable for you to pronounce it. That's why it becomes like it becomes like this. Okay. This is all about it. I'm drinking pronunciation. There are some this fella. Watch out this fella, this guy is a very naughty guy. The air sound, he's a representative of air sound. He, he, he's like purely air. <sighs> when this guy meeting a normal, a plain sound, it turns out to be an air sound. Okay, same goes to this fella. Wherever there's an air sound exists, it turn out, turns out to be this way. Like this, like this, then becomes like this. For example, this is kak, kak. And this is supposed to be ha, ha, kak, ha, kak, ha. 
So these two are met in a way in your tongue, right? in your tongue, throat and tongue, you know, within your mouth, you, they are meeting each other, clashing each other. To pronounce it quick and fast, they try to somehow compensate each other or maybe compromise each other. So what happened is becomes ka, 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 ha. You can give it a try yourself, you know, ka and ha. If you read quickly, it becomes ka, ka. Good. Oh, by the way, it works uh, in the other way around. Either you meet this way, or let's say ha, ya, da. So these are meeting and together, right? So it turns out to be ha, ya, ta in terms of pronunciation. By the way, this, this slash means a pronunciation. You don't write this way. You should write this way, but some turn out to be a pronouncing in this way. So ha, ya, ta. It works. Uh, reverse way also it works the same way. Now, that's one more thing or maybe two more things for you. This guy, oh, these two, ah, the empty and air, ah, this is a good thing. Or the other way around, like this. What happened? So I give you another metaphor for this. So this is the air, okay, pure air. And this is empty shell. So in the empty shell, no matter how much you air you blow in, nothing will happen. In the empty area, it doesn't really mean anything. It doesn't really reflect or affect anything. That's why, what will happen? Ah, this empty shell wins. So how does it go? For example, like this. You have seen this one many times, I believe. Is it Cho? Ah, these two are mad. Oh, how? So, and then try to Overtake, but this one is empty shell. I cannot do anything. So what happened? Oh, become choayo, choayo. It become just a ah sound, right? It's no cho yo. So you got some idea on so how the ranking pronunciation works. So now you can actually read any Korean characters in the fast. Now by learning this ranking pronunciation, you can read Korean characters fast. All right. That's it for today. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.